Tipo que se ellos. Hello! Who's on? I'm on 42 people watching live now. Wow. Why is it not on here? I don't know. Right, I can't see those comments. I put it in full screen. That's better. Oh, we can't see the comments. I'll see the comments. <laughs> no, we'll just have one. Right, Simon Pugh, Andrew Williamson, Carl Johnson, Chris Forsland. Right. Lockout bikes. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Yeah, is the sound alright? God, there's loads of people. 63 people. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So the sound's okay, yeah. Lockout bikes says the sound. Hang on. You need to just drop this laptop. Can you see Close, uh, Oh yeah, I close the laptop now. Right. Can Bear you... with us everyone. Right, is it still buffering or are we live? Sounds great, just keep buffering. Yeah, we're back. I need to lower that. Needs to come later. Yeah. Bear with us everyone. Yeah, this one. Use, use mine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I had such dreams about this being we had, this Yeah, we had dreams of like a flawless live stream and it's just a disaster live. 66 people watching, where's your tripod? Uh, oh, it's here. Bear with me everyone. Bear with us. Bear with us. Is this gone offline now? Yeah, it's offline now. That needs to be off your internet. That's off. It's turned off. Right. So, <clears throat> the sound won't be as good though because we're on the, we're on the, the phone's microphone now. I don't like the angle there. I don't like you. <laughs> That's really right, right, can I can't see the comments. Martin's t shirt. I've got a Oh We can't see the comments otherwise. Where's it say that? I'm going to have to a cable or... The same buffering again. Oh, buffering. What the fuck? Should we go in the other room? Let's have a look. Are we still buffering? See, people will drop out if it's just clean. Like, right. Buffering, right. You need to go in the other room. Yeah. Now. Right, we'll go where there's a better internet connection. Oops, sorry. Right, put the lights on in here. Is that any better? Is that any better? Every time you touch the video, it goes off. Right, really sorry. We just, just some teething problems. Bear with us, we'll get chatting um, and we'll do this live stream properly. <laughs> the best laid plans of mice and men in that other room. What's it looking like now? Right, you're back. Yes, right. I do apologise, everyone. We're having some teething problems. <coughs> um, we did sort of <laughs> plan it, and it's not worked out. So I've come in the living room so that we can... We've got a better... Um, a better internet connection. And I thought, oh, and the best T-shirt, and the bloody thing's mirrored. He's just setting up lights so you can see us. Right, OK, I do apologise. It's bang on now, Martin. Thank you very much, Jack Bennett. That's brilliant. Uh, 112 people, that's amazing. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining us. Um, sorry about the, the dodgy start. We tried to do it really stylish, but it just didn't work. Um, I don't like the way the screen keeps dulling. That's a bit of a bad yeah. mind. Um, how is everyone? Are you okay this evening? Thank you for joining us. Is that good? I won't have to wear my glasses. Where's my cup of tea? You left it in there. Right, sorry about this, guys. This is like a, a disaster, isn't it? 96 people. That's not a bad going, that. We expected like 10. Yeah, well, we lost eight. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> lost our bite to the excitement. We could do with knowing. We're struggling. <clears throat> 91 <clears throat> people, please don't go. <laughs> Evening, lads. Where's, the, Where's cake? the cake? The cake is here. We've got the cake. They are. We couldn't get you one, though. Well, the virtual cakes. Um, I love listening to your videos, Martin. I'm blind. Oh, hello, Richard. You're all right, mate. How's it going? Put your hat back on. Um, <laughs> is that what he said? Yeah, Andrew Williamson there said, so put your hat back on. I will in a minute. Um, it messes me. I've had my hair done for the occasion. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, the cakes have got um, like a, a custard inside them, I think. Yeah, custard, yeah. It's probably not the sort of thing you want to eat on camera. No. 85 people have lost. Yeah, but don't forget, <laughs> loads of people will, will have tuned in, realised out what a disaster it is and then tuned out. But it's, it's teething issues. It's the first, We expected 10 and we've got 85 people here. Watching. Which is amazing. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Hello from Estonia. Hello. Oh, it's amazing that, isn't it, Estonia? Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. So the first part of this is going to be us saying hello to people because we're quite, it's quite overwhelming that we've got 85 people. <laughs> and it's quite amazing. <clears throat> um, so I know if you're watching, you're just sort of watching us saying hello to people. Um, what are you doing now? Putting, on, putting the chat on there. Right. We will get through that. If you want to ask some questions in a bit or anything, I'm not saying that we're worthy of questions, <laughs> but if you do want to ask anything, by all means, please ask. Um, we're trying to read the comments. Makes it interesting well, when it's dodgy. dodgy. Well, yeah, but not when you're trying to be smooth. Don't forget to, to stir, stir the tea with the bubble duck antenna. That was that, that, that um, Dangers of Amateur Radio I did where I was with my mate and we did um, the story about the guy who was like obsessed with the antenna. Right. And to like get the laughs in. <laughs> Somehow. If... if People who obviously some people follow Lewis and make amateur radio, radio ham, ham, amateur radio. We've had that discussion, yeah, yeah, we had that one. So, um, a long time ago, Lewis has always been a bigger channel than me. He did a collaboration with me, and it was kind of him, and that's how why we got to know each other, yeah, yeah. Um, it was, yeah, but well, he's from actually, Manchester. My, my video that we got in touch with wasn't, wasn't a radio video, was it? it was the disused railway one, and I was saw it? yours, and then we started messaging like that, yeah, right, yeah. Where did you get where did you get your Granada t-shirt from? eBay. I should say hi Martin Lewis loves you. Copy you, you know. Do you know what I should do? I should be I should sell these, shouldn't I? I should yeah, make you should actually, yeah, yeah. Sound's right. going on off all to the pitch is bad. Oh what? It'll be it'll be alright, it'll it'll be okay. Can't be doing with it. Yeah, but don't get you upload we're uploading like it's like semi HD video live, so there will be an element of lag. Right, seventy people. We had a hundred and odd and we've lost. Yeah, it's gone back up. It's gone back up. Still way right. The seventy people that are here that eat I'd buy one. Yeah. Louis L paintings, he'd buy one. Yeah. Yeah. I mean mate, I should do some some of my own merch. I'll tell you yeah. what, those who are watching, do us a favour now comment. If you're from my channel, comment Lewis. If you're from Martin's channel, just comment with the word Martin. It'd be interesting just to see. Competition. Yeah, I just want to see. I just want to see you because it might just be all yours. <laughs> <laughs> right, seventy viewers. I got eight eight minutes in. Um, uh, Lewis, Martin, Martin, Martin. Matt Jones, Joe. Lewis, David. Martin. Sounds like a mixed bag, doesn't it? So disappointed it's not live from the shack shed. Yeah, the shack shed's not finished yet. I've had, uh, basically, like, work's been, the job I do, I won't say on here, but the job I do, uh, it looks like a looks like a 50-50 split, really. Yeah. That's not yeah. bad going. Yeah, the job I do is, it's mental at certain times of the year. Just these past few weeks, it's been a question. Lewis. Yeah, go ahead, Thomas. I wasn't fishing, Brian. I don't go fishing. Um, yeah, so the shed isn't finished yet. But it... Might start. <laughs> what Granada ones? Yeah, there's five people there that would have bought it. Oh, the Mister Radio Robot understood Lewis. Yeah, no worries. So it will be finished. I've got I've got a week off next week, so I'm hoping to get a couple of days in <clears> on it <throat> to get it finished. Uh, Guy Guy Bayot. FCC has begun to declare war against radios from China. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I I've read about that. Hi, Carl. Carl, G1YPQ. Uh, Joe F would buy a t-shirt as well. <laughs> well, I'd have to do my own and kind of t-shirt. I've done my garage conversion three years. Don't worry about it. Yeah, cheers, David. Sound dropping out, guys. Oh, no. 
I went to see the radio. Hi from Salford. Richard, hello. Well, for the, for those who have just tuned in now, we've come in here. I had loads of radios and old mobile phones. There's like the backdrop in there before, but the Wi-Fi is not good in that room. So unfortunately, we've come away from it all, um, which is a shame. Stop stressing about it. Just do the stream. Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Okay. Well, yeah, but we do stress because you want it right, don't you? There's nothing worse than watching a dodgy stream. Gab Gab Gabriel, what's the next video? Hi. Online? Hello from Glasgow. Uh, the next video. Um, <laughs> Um, yeah, well, I need to. Um, I think this week I'll get on with Medlock 5. Um, next time, watch your TV. Yeah, Medlock 5, I think. What's this? I'll, 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 I'll plug it in, press close. Um, you coming to New York Rally? Sorry, you asked the question. Carl, I don't think I will be going to New York Rally. I want to, mm. but I don't think I'm going to get a chance. Sorry, go on. Right, yeah, this is, this is the thing. Medlock 5, probably. I need to crack <laughs> on with that. Um, yeah, no problem. Um, the thing about joining me on an explorer is sometimes even I don't know when I'm going to do it and I'll just go off and do it. Um, so, yeah, I don't mind people joining me. But it's just difficult because it just depends what I'm doing on that particular day and on my day off and sometimes if it's in the week. But, yeah, you know, by all means, anyone can join me on an explorer. Uh, yeah, anyway, what am I on about? I need to do Medlock 5 because we've got, we've got a gap. <clears throat> we've got a gap. We did Medlock 4. Medlock 6, and I didn't do Medlock 5, and I need to crack on and do that one, uh, and I've got some ideas for that. Um, I am missing some of the... Um, how have you been blogging around Manchester, Thomas? Um, I've been doing YouTube since April 2016, but for the first year, I, the, some of the videos I did weren't, um, weren't that popular, and then I did one uh, called Manchester Off The Beaten Track, and that, that was quite popular, and I realised this is what people actually want to watch. Um, and sorry, he's just messing with the phone. And so, and I enjoyed doing it, so I carried on doing videos in that vein. Medlock 5 I need to do next, basically. But I have got something coming up in the meantime. I did the next blow the other day. Yeah. Well, it educates me when I do the history of Manchester, because usually I don't know... I have to start reading about the next video. <clears throat> so this is putting the kettle on mine as a coffee. Yeah, come down. Have you ever done exploring in Chadwick and Middleton, some decent stuff around there? Yeah, probably. No, I've never explored. The only one I've done in Middleton was um, the um, the graveyard and the ginnel. Are you seriously a quality guy? <laughs> I'm addicted to your channel. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, Martin's channel for those of my pe my my people, my subscribers that are watching this. Martin's channel's like it's it's social history, isn't it? So it's <clears> not <throat> the stuff you really see on TV and in books. It's, you go into like a lot of detail, don't you? And you like match up old photos and maps and stuff. So yeah, yeah. It, I suppose it's stuff that you can't quickly find an answer for on Google. You sort of do the research and make a video on on a topic. Yeah, I mean there are programs like that on TV, but yeah. I think it's because it's specialist to Manchester. Yeah, yeah. But don't forget, um, the slogan on the YouTube channel is Manchester and beyond. And I would, if anyone said, like, come down to Derby and look at this or whatever, I would go down and I would look at other stuff. Yeah, I wouldn't want to restrict myself just to Manchester. It's just that so much in Manchester to check out, really. I'm not Matt, even scratch the surface. Sorry, Matt from Outpost Radio Network. Hi, Matt. Guys, I don't know if this video is clear enough, but if anyone, if anyone can tell me, this badge... He's reversing it. Yeah, read it backwards. <laughs> Brindless Let me know what it is. Brindless Culver. Yeah, that'll be Medlock. It'll be one of the later Medlock ones. Um, and that, that Culver, that, um, that, that, the Giants Basin in, in Castlefield, I need to work out what's going on there with it because I was trying to read up on it the other day and I can't even, I think the Medlock drops underneath Castlefield and it, it comes along and then I need to work it out and draw it. <laughs> James Brindley over-engineered everything with to do with the Bridgewater Canal. Yeah, Manchester is amazing. It inspires me. 77 people. Yeah, so that's pretty impressive. We, we were that. talking before, like, because we were worried, weren't we, whether this would... Because we, we've done this as just like a test. Who's afraid of the DTI, Matt, yeah? Who's afraid of the DTI? Yeah, we, we did with the R to the right on the rabbit badge. Yeah, it is. Yeah, sorry, the video's reversed, Simon. Rabbit. Rabbit telling point. I've got a, a series of videos coming on that soon. Um, yeah, we basically did this stream 
just to just to sort of test the water and see if anyone would actually watch. And Martin's done a couple in the past. And what I want to do is start doing live streams on like radio topics and things like that. So that's what I plan to do. So this is a pretty good turnout. We we said like if six to ten people turn up, that wouldn't be a bad start. But I think eight, 79, 80 there is pretty uh, so pretty good. Day out, Martin, why don't you start to print your own T-shirts based on Granada? I'm sure they'll. Get I yourself wonder, a Etsy shop. Uh, yeah, merchandise. Merchandise is one of those things. Some YouTubers do it and they always cringe because they don't think my channel is big enough. <coughs> it would be nice to do merchandise, but... You just set up an Etsy store because you're, know, not, you're yeah. not doing... It, it's people with small channels like me, mine and yours that do merchandise with their own channel, or like a hoodie with like Rigway Manchester on. No one's going to wear that, but a Granada t-shirt, someone would. You're not doing like a t-shirt with Martin Zero written on. It's a t-shirt. Yeah, yeah, you know? true. Yeah. So that, that I think yeah. well, you've got... sort of a retro feel. Yeah, um, it's about to. Oh, I don't know. Tri band transceiver in the UK, 200 megahertz band. Yeah. So the the comments flash up and then go. Did you ask if there's a at two one H A W high? Um, if there's a, a tri band transceiver in the UK for 220 megahertz, that falls under the military air band, done it, Martin? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. Very interesting. Thank you, Lockout Bikes. Um, if there's a question and it doesn't get answered or we miss it, re-ask it because the, the comments are coming up in front of us and then fading out and we're trying to keep up with the comments. Um, so by all means, just re-ask. I just want to say as well to all the people that aren't commenting, hello. You know, some people don't like to comment, do they just like to yeah. sit and watch. So hello to all the people that aren't commenting. We're glad you're here. Um, so it's really nice of you to join us. That's you know really really important. Yeah, merchandise based on Manchester, Re like a retro feel would be quite good. What do you no, that's both a good question. Think... What do you both think of each other's hobbies? Right. I'm really interested in the stuff you do. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have like a basic grasp of radio, but radio is one of them hobbies you either you either know nothing about or you love it. Mm. I... <laughs> I don't, I can understand anyone that's into anything because it's an interest doesn't mean to say I particularly like that hobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But having an interest is great. Do either your day job reflect your hobby? No, no. not at all. No. 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 Uh, as well, guys, anyone, any licensed amateurs, put your call signs in as well as a comment. Let's see who we can get. Mention the radio, Martin Cringes. No, I don't cringe, I just I don't understand. Martin, follow me on Twitter and I will message you with some Medlock stuff. Well, yeah, you have to send me it. The thing is, if you send me your Twitter on here, it'll disappear. So if you follow me, I'm Martin is underscore 0401. If you follow me first, I'm not being funny when I say that, but I won't be able to keep it on here, it'll go. Yeah, these comments are just like, they're just going up and up. There's loads of call signs coming through. Martin, are you going to do your radio test? No. Do you know what, you know what would make a good video? Me and you, we can make Take Measure Yagis. What's that? Do you, think, do you think me and Martin should make Take G1 UFM? Do you think we should make Take Measure Yagis, me and Martin? That would be good to teach him, wouldn't it? What do you think? Hi, Carl. G1 YPQ. You want to jargon? You can make, you can make you an antenna. You can make an antenna out of, out of Take Measure. Right. I'll teach you, we'll make them <laughs> together. Well, yeah, that'll be good, yeah. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll have like two little workstations set up in front of the camera and you can like follow me and see how yours turns out. <laughs> yes, do it. That's well, it. I thought... Home brew antennas. Sorry, Martin. The, the guy there, the Candy Foss King, who said anything to you with home brew antennas, I'm going to be making a series of quarter wave um, ground plane antennas soon. Um, for sort of different bands as like basically just like an exercise for me really but I'm going to film it so yeah I'm going to make like one for my ADSB at Radar Box and uh, one for like VHF one for UHF and stuff innit yeah yeah so I'll have a cake I think <laughs> yeah do you want a cake uh, well it'd be a bit messy to <laughs> we eat we can on. never eat these on camera it would be a bit messy to eat on camera yeah so let's um, you know you eat your, yeah you eat yours first yeah, 83 people watching, this is ridiculous. I know. And hello everyone who's not commenting, by the way. Daz Black. <coughs> yeah, because I originally planned to stream this on my laptop, but it wasn't working. Make a video explaining the process of getting imagery from a weather satellite. Yeah, that's one that I'll add to the list. That's pretty easy to do, actually. No beer tonight, tea, tea only. Yeah. Yeah, it's a weeknight, it's a school night. Not for me. 
No. See, I've got Messi now already. Yeah. Profiteroles, isn't it called? Yeah, they yeah, are from Marks them. and Spencer's. Profiteroles, they've got a custard inside them. I think they're a bit disastrous to eat on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like them vanilla slices where everything just comes out the side. I don't want to eat it now as well. Well, why don't you eat it off camera? I will in a minute. Go and sit in the toilet and eat it. Yeah. Take up to the uh, toilet and eat it. Answer it for the, at least for your hobbies. Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. Right, well... <clears throat> Not to mention network radios, yeah, Carl, network radios, network radios, a plug there. Guys, look up a Facebook group called Network Radios, Network Radios, it's, it sparked loads of debate, it's great. Marks and Sparks, how posh. Yeah, I couldn't afford that. I, I messaged Martin before saying, stop at a shop you know. on the way and get a cheap Victoria sponge and you um, come with them, M&S. Do you believe in flat earth? The flat earth theory is a load of rubbish, you don't believe in that, do you? Um. If you believe in the flat earth theory, I'm <laughs> unsubscribing, no way. No, not at all. Of course I don't. Flat it, earth. Matt, is this real radio? There, this is real radio. Now, this stream. Thanks for the... 89 people watching. Hello, how are you all doing? No idea what you're on about. Right, my brother went on a guided tour of Manchester Victoria Wave Station. There was a woman's prison under the ground floor, blah, 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 blah. A woman's prison under Manchester Victoria Well, Right, I tell, it wasn't. I think what it was, was a, um, there was a workhouse. And it's just come to me that, and I don't think it was a prison. There was a workhouse on the site of Manchester Victoria Station. Now, I've just recently bought a book about Manchester Victoria um, off Amazon. And the book is about that thick. The guy who wrote it, it's, it's incredible. And it, it, there's so much reading in it, I'll never get through it. But one of the um, one of the things that was there was um, a workhouse. Any women there? Was that? Yeah, there is a woman there. Luna, Luna, Luna. Um, anyway, I think it was a workhouse to answer your question underneath Manchester Victoria Station, and I, I'm thinking of doing a video on that. But it might see. That's you, the only woman. Sorry. <laughs> No, go on, carry on. You can't do that when I'm talking. Yeah, you can. You over. You 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 usurp me. He said, "Is there any women here?" I've told him. <laughs> right. Don't bring that dog on again. <laughs> on the Victoria Station, there is an underground train station. What? Right. Well, anyway, to answer the question, I think it was. A, I think, and I'm not an authority. I think it was a, a workhouse underneath Victoria Station. I think there was a halfway house under Victoria, I recall all maps. Possibly, yeah. I, I don't completely know. I just know I think I think there was a workhouse there, that's all. Um I still want to get in that culvert underneath Victoria. I still want to get in that. Um Yeah, the dogs did steal the spot. Um anyway, I still want to get in that culvert underneath Victoria, that river culvert. And it's really difficult to get into and trying to work out a way of getting in. Now I know you're gonna tell me. But I need to work out a way of getting in um, because there's things under there that are worth looking at and it might tie in with a video about uh, Victoria Station. I'm waffling now. It's fine, it's what live streams are for. Definitely work out for No. It won't let you post URLs because I think, I think the software on YouTube thinks that you're spamming. So yeah, I don't think you can post URLs. Just send it in a private message afterwards. Say hello to my brother David Barton, please. Both of you, thanks. Hi hello, David, David Barton. Barton. Hi David How are you Barton. Doing? Being, Being there, there need a kayak. kayak. You do need a kayak. Yeah, yeah. I would love to see a video from both of you showing out. What? That, that disappeared. Sorry. Oh, it's going really quick. The, the guy asking to love to see the video planning our our videos. Just do that comment again. These comments go so have you fast. Been to Newton Street Police. No, I've never been to the police museum. Never been to it. I should go in, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, I want to go to that. The well. thing is, some of these places you can't walk in with a camera and start going, oh, "Hello, my name's Martin. Welcome back to another video," <laughs> <laughs> because they're going to go, "You're not allowed to film in here, mate. Piss off." So, um, yeah. Two GD seventy-seven identical code plug. One fine, second one won't transmit. I don't know. That I, I don't know. I'm not sure. Shout out, guys. Police museum is great. We should we should go to that um, police museum. Who's this sending you stuff on Telegram? Uh, some, it's I mate. know I moan, but it is. <laughs> hey, it doesn't half moan. <laughs> if you turn the phone the other way around, comment, stay on. It's, I don't know what you mean. I mean, to see the screen. 
Say hello to my Mrs. Amanda, daughter Jess. I'm out in my area of interest is Angel Meadow and wondered about your thoughts on its history and how they developed. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, the, the message disappeared. Angel Meadow is amazing. Angel Meadow is the video that I never made. I would like to make a video about Angel Meadow, but in my head, it's massive. And I've just, it's, it's, it's daunting. It's a bit like the Pomona one. It took me ages to do one about Pomona. Um, it's one of those things that when I get down to it and do it, I'm like, well, I should have done this ages ago. But Angel Meadow is the video that I never made. I need to do my Angel Meadow. The, the guy there, Dr Pepper UK, who asked about, um, Carl wants to share it, get 100 viewers. The guy who asked about all the hobbies. Well, um, I'm just keep following yeah, uh, photography. Um, I don't know. I don't know. See, I, I struggle to judge. I don't know if you're the same. I struggle to balance more than one hobby. So I'll be all over radio for a while, and then I'll I'll have a bit of a blip and go on to something else. So, yeah, radio, photography, aviation, aircraft. The reason my channel's called Ringway Manchester is after Manchester Airport because my first video, which I deleted now, was of an aircraft. I, I used to be like really into like aircraft and stuff, and I wanted to do. Um, like videos on aviation, so that was that was um, another hobby. Yeah, I'm a bit boring, really, to be honest. Um, yeah, guys that are asking questions, if we don't answer them, just post them again. Um, it, they just flash up, and we're getting like five or six comments, like every sort of ten seconds. So it's 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 hard to even read them, let alone reply. So if we don't um, answer your question, put them up again. Huh? <laughs> I've just put the kettle on if any moment. Yeah, I'll have a brew. Yeah. Eighty nine, eighty eight. Eighty eight. That would be cool. I could arrange for you to. I could arrange for you to visit. To video well, the send museum. me a message. Send me a message um, somehow on 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 Facebook or on on YouTube. <clears throat> Cloud hey, twenty three, um... Steve O White. It's good. Oh, like, yeah. Cloud twenty three. Yeah, it's good. That yeah. I, I, never, I never did any more afternoon tea ones. I took Rebecca there the other week for a bit. Brexit, good on. No, we're not doing politics. Not doing politics. Yeah, well, thanks for commenting. Yeah, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah, not, don't say not, that the wrong we're way. We're not dismissing you. It's just that you know, if you want to go down a hellhole, politics is it. How to watch TV, cakey on back off and YouTube at the same time. Coffee for me. Coffee, Coffee for, for me. me uh, you say hello to my girlfriend, Melanie. Melanie, hello, Hi, Melanie. Melanie. Hello, Melanie. <laughs> 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 hello. Uh, what is Martin's channel? I will subscribe. Thank you very much. My channel is Martin Zero. Yeah, Martin Zero. And it's, uh, I took the name from, you know the guy, well, th there's a guy called Martin Hannett who produced a lot of the Joy Division New Order stuff, and his <coughs> nickname was Martin Zero Hannett. And I used to be called Martin 0401, which is my birthday, 4th of January. And I thought it was a bit of a shit name, really, or 040. So I changed the name to Martin Zero. And I thought, right, well, I've shortened it to Martin Zero, and Martin Zero used to produce Joy Division New Order, my musical heroes, so that's why I call it Martin Zero. I think it doesn't, I think once you've got a name, yeah, well, mine's a stupid name. I but, hate the name of my channel. Well, the thing is, once you've got a name, it becomes you anyway. It's like... Sorry, can you get Mayday Channel on chips? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Joy Division. Yeah, yeah, both end covers Marine. Martin's moving on the Manchester Tour. Tour boss? What's that? What's that, David? I don't know what Manchester Tour is. Can you... Oh, that disappeared. Repost your comments if we miss them. Uh, Bexy, Martin, what got you interested in history? Sorry, one five six eight hundred is, is uh, Simon's just put that up for marine emergency. Sorry, go on, Martin. What got me interested in history? I, d I don't know. I, I started doing. Um, I think it was more the. <coughs> um, I did that Manchester off the beaten track, and I ended up going into little old places around. It was Colliers Road, believe it or not, and um, I thought, I, w I don't know what it was. It was just the fact that I was looking at old things and I was there, and I started looking into the history of things, and when I found old pictures and stuff. Um, when I found old pictures of places, I was just like, wow, this is really good. And I think when you get to a certain age, you get into history because you, it becomes relatable more to you. I missed some of the comments, so because I was rabbiting on, so just repost them. There's, there's loads we're missing. Uh, uh, off Colliest, near, off, near Colliest, like, Nick. Like, the re like one of the reasons I like your videos is it, it's like little things where you'll, you'll post a map where now it's like... A retail park but you can see three or four streets of little houses mm. and each of them houses mm. the walls have had so much history and little families in them and and 3d right. electric circus yeah in colliest yeah what's the right, best place place to find all maps you use when comparing um uh, it's national libraries of scotland if you just google that go to the national libraries of scotland <laughs> kettle's boiled martin it has boiled you're right <laughs> 
Uh, on the sides of Manchester doorways, there are remnants of what buildings used to be there. They're worth looking at, guys. Yep, yeah, and old signs as well. Was police officer? I don't understand that. Did you ever get the drone? No, the drone lies. Put it down. The drone lies at the bottom of the river here. Well, we spent like hours, didn't we, trying to get that back? On more video, didn't yeah. we? It's calm down. I think this is much calmer, don't you? You go getting a bit giddy. <laughs> You're being really giddy on this live stream. Uh... And we're Hate just bombarding. <laughs> well, we can't keep up with the comments. We need... No, that's true. We'll, we'll just, we're just keep find... reposting. 90 people, yeah. wow. Have you heard of Keith? Yes. Keith Warren's book, Underground Manchester, amazing book. Go and buy it. Uh, Coffee White, okay. <clears throat> Martin, check out Exploring with Fighters. Yeah, the, the only thing about Exploring with Fighters is some of the information. They claim to have found human bones in the cathedral arches, and I was like, really? So, yeah, but they, they are very good. I'm not slagging anyone off. Just that when they sensationalise things, it's a bit... Mm. K2 CSX from the Bronx, New York. <clears throat> oh, Lewis, can you do a video? These comments are going so quick. Right. Let's talk radio for a minute. Get your radio questions in, guys. Get your radio questions in. Kettle's boiled. <laughs> Kettle's boiled dry. Let's talk radios. You know, I wish there was a PMR northern net. There's all these nets down south for like PMR and there's nothing up in the north. And I was I was just in the mood last night for a bit of radio. I went up to local hill. I put a picture on, I think, Instagram. Got the mag mounts on the car and nobody on. Such a shame. Box chip has arrived. Mine hasn't arrived, Carl, no. No, I'll explain that to you. Lewis, when are you doing the intermediate exam? I've got the book. I just need time to do it. Just getting time to do it, that, that's the thing. I've got, literally, I've got 40 videos lined up, um, guys, for this channel. 40 videos lined up, you sitting down. Um, yeah, 40, actually 41 to be specific. Um, videos lined up that I need to film and it's just ridiculous. Amateur radio station on the ISS. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. More network radio videos, please, Lewis. Yeah, I've got plenty coming up on that as well, guys. I'm actually going to be testing some, um, like, bespoke uh, dispatch software for... Um, the um, network radio soon. Do you think network radios are overpriced? I think some of them are, but if, if you like gadgets, you like gadgets. So for, uh, I wouldn't use my. I'd rather use use one of them at hundred odd quid than my iPhone Seven if I was out and about dropping it and stuff like that. So I think they just have a bit of a better feel. Am I the only woman watching this? Well, live I hope chat? not, Anne. I hope it's good. Good that you're here. Good to have some ladies here. Is there any more lady breakers on? Hope you're going to do some Hilltop DMR Simplex. Yeah, I am, Carl. Um, as soon as I'm Anthony Kinney, how's your shed going? Really well. I'm hoping to finish it next week and sort of start moving stuff in. Mm. UK offer. <laughs> 44644, true. Is it true for Europe? Yeah, as far as I'm aware, yeah. No, Anne, I'm Alman. Nina Patty. Nina, hello, Nina. Karen Berry. Look at that. No, no. Disgusting. Um, Karen, hello, Karen. <coughs> Neil, when's your next video out? Um, it was soon, Neil. I'm not quite sure which one it'll be yet, but you know, it's never done more than a week usually. Michael Bursong, it's not easy to program DMR unless you know how. It's just like a learning curve. Are you doing this on the Peterloo Massacre? Um, you know what would be quite good? Is to be, to do a video on the Peterloo Massacre when, near when the film comes out mm. and try and get the cash in on the search. Mm. Lady Breakers, back to the 80s, yeah. There's a few ladies on here then, that's good. <laughs> These are messy, aren't they? <laughs> you couldn't have picked a messy kid. Have you noticed how, as the live stream's gone on, just eat the cake. <laughs> uh, Martin, do you think any of the shops or properties on Tip Street? Um, I don't know. I did in the tips in the Tip uh, video. I, t I quoted, quoted a passage from a book, didn't I? That said about somebody looking into a cellar and hearing running water. Now, believe it or not, in 2000, 2001, I used to work in the what is now the Starbucks on the corner of Tip Street, just across the way from Debenhams. At the time, it was Coffee Republic, and I used to work there um, serving coffee. And the, the downstairs, which is, don't think Starbucks use anymore now, but the downstairs was a little sitting area. And believe it or not, not long after we'd opened, in March, April 2000, it flooded... Now, at the time, it didn't mean anything.
anything to me, but I wonder if it was the tip that flooded it. I often wonder that. What are your thoughts on IRN as compared to FM? I think it's a great, anything to do with ROIP or VOIP, that's voice over the internet. If you touch that. That's a mess. I'll kill you. I won't be touching that, it looks like you've spat it out. Yeah, I'm, I'm all, all for um, VOIP and RIP. Do you think both cattle bridge, I'll come back to it under Victoria, the cattle bridge. Mm. Do you think both end should produce a network radio? No, I don't. I really don't. Competition should bring down the cost of network radios, yeah. I, th I think that if you look on like Alibaba, they're a lot cheaper than what they are on any of the other um, radio websites. They really are a hell of a lot cheaper. 82 people, I think we peaked, we peaked at 107 and then at 91 and we're back on 80 now, that's pretty good. Have to go and pick up the kids from the, at school, thanks for live vid. Cheers Dark Shadow, thanks for um, popping on. Get your radio questions in while Martin's away. <clears throat> what radio would you use if you were a prepper? Um, for DMR, Retivis RT83 or the Alons HD1, analog, uh, both on UV82. Do you think Motorola will... Uh, no. In fact, talking to Motorola, cheers Martin. Talking to Motorola, Icom have just brought out like a PTT device that operates on 4G and LTE over cellular. A friend of mine's got one, I'm hoping to get one to test. I can't remember the name of it, but it's really tiny. TYTMD380 cracking radio, <coughs> really good. I've got one of them, and I've got the Retivis RC3, which is similar. Thanks for making me love. Sorry for my English. Hello, N N N Nina. Um, just a quick word. Yeah. I know you're obsessed with the comments. Trying to make a cup of tea in your kitchen is like urban exploring. Why? You can't find nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All the logical places, you know, the, the tea bags aren't in a logical place. The tea bags are above the kettle. So it's a sugar. Well, well, you said this last time, but they're in the back of the cupboard. Any biscuits to go? I left the biscuits in in there. You well, want piss, your favourite mobile radio? Favourite mobile radio? He'll um, think about that while he's getting the biscuits. Go on. Icom 207. <laughs> right, the cattle bridge under Victoria. Bastard. I'm, <clears throat> I'm reading various conflicting reports at the moment that. Because I've read it's the cattle bridge is 16, comes from the year 1600s, and it's a cattle bridge. Um, what I'm reading at the minute is that it is possibly just a footbridge and it's not as old as the 1600s. Now, some of you may know more, some of you may disagree with me, but I'm reading conflicting reports. Um, and there's a wonderful picture I've found, and it's a drawing slash map of Manchester taken from... If you can imagine standing at the top of the uh, Strange Ways Tower and looking towards Victoria, but it's, it's from the 1700s and you can see the old bridges that spanned over the, um, the Irk or somebody's drawn the old bridges. Now one of them corresponds with where the, um, the supposed cattle bridge is and it might not be a cattle bridge, it might just be a footbridge, but it is very old. But until I can get in there and look at it, I'm not sure. And I found this bizarre picture um, I'll have to try and put it up for you sometime and it's just amazing anyway I digress it's that whole area of Victoria and that cattle bridge cattle bridge is doing me head in at the minute because I keep reading different things my own TV program in Manchester yeah but the thing is that that's wonderful but yeah I'd like to hear my own TV program I <laughs> just I was gonna go off on one then but ignore me yeah um, do I think network? Somebody asked then. Do I think networks pulling people away from real radio? No, I don't. I really don't. I think people are already pulled away from real radio. To be honest, so I don't think it can do. Um, rang. Yeah. You I don't to think. Uh, I know. Hamilton, Cavan, Lewis. Hi guys. Hope the shack is going good, Lewis. Yeah, it's coming on okay. Hoping to finish it in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So I think a lot of people have already left radio. I don't think network radio is going to have any detrimental effect. Buffering. And then you've done the rating for more Island. Get many bits of it, Martin. Collaborate you. Oh, Ben, just re-repeat that. Um, and pics of Pomona Island in its heyday. I don't.